Have you ever wondered how tools like scissors, ramps, or even zippers make life easier? These everyday items use something called simple machines, which help us perform tasks with less effort. Today, we'll explore the world of simple machines and learn how they're all around us, making work easier in ways you may not even notice. Hello, everyone. Welcome to the official YouTube channel of ExactCampus.com. Welcome to today's exciting lesson of simple machines. Let's get started. A machine is any tool or device that helps us do work more easily, quickly, or with less effort. Machines can be as simple as a hammer or as complex as a robot. They help us move, lift, cut, or assemble things. There are two main types of machines. Simple machines are tools with few or no moving parts. They help us do work more efficiently by reducing the effort needed. Whether it's lifting, pushing, pulling, or cutting, simple machines make tough jobs easier. Think of a seesaw in a park or a ramp at a hospital. These are simple machines we use in daily life. We'll explore each type of simple machine in detail shortly, so stay tuned. Complex machines are made by combining two or more simple machines. They have many moving parts and can perform more complicated tasks. A bicycle is a complex machine that uses wheels and axles, levers, and gears to help you move faster. A washing machine combines pulleys, wheels, and screws to clean your clothes efficiently. Think of a crane at a construction site. It uses pulleys and levers to lift heavy loads. In short, simple machines are the building blocks of complex machines. By understanding simple machines, you can appreciate how even the most advanced tools work. Now that we understand the basics of machines, let's take a closer look at simple machines and how they work to make our tasks easier. There are six main types of simple machines, and we'll dive into each one with examples to see how they work. 1. Levers. A lever is a rigid bar that moves around a fixed point called the fulcrum. It helps lift or move heavy objects with less effort. There are three types of levers. First class levers. The fulcrum is in the middle, like a seesaw. Imagine playing on a seesaw, when you push one side down, the other side goes up. Second class levers. The load is in the middle, like a wheelbarrow. Think of a gardener lifting soil in a wheelbarrow, it makes moving heavy loads easier. Third class levers. The effort is in the middle, like a broom. Sweeping the floor becomes less tiring because the broom acts as a lever. Real-life examples include scissors, nutcrackers, and even bottle openers. Aren't they cool? 2. Inclined planes. An inclined plane is a flat, slanted surface that helps you move objects to a higher place with less force. For instance, think of a ramp. Movers use ramps to load heavy furniture into trucks. You've probably seen ramps at hospitals or malls, they make it easier for wheelchairs and strollers to move up and down. Even slides in a playground are inclined planes. They make going up or down fun and easy. 3. Pulleys. A pulley is a wheel with a rope wrapped around it. It helps lift heavy objects by changing the direction of the force. There are three types of pulleys. Fixed pulleys. Like flagpoles. Pulling the rope downward raises the flag upward. Movable pulleys. Found in cranes at construction sites. These help lift heavy materials to tall heights. Compound pulleys. A combination of fixed and movable pulleys, like those in elevators. Next time you see a crane lifting heavy objects or a flag being raised, Remember the magic of pulleys at work. 4. Wheel and Axle. A wheel and axle system consists of a large wheel attached to a smaller axle. When the wheel turns, the axle moves too, making work easier. 
Examples include car steering wheels, which make turning effortless. A bicycle uses this system to help you ride faster and smoother. Even simple things like door knobs or rolling pins in the kitchen use the wheel and axle system. 5. Screws. A screw is an inclined plane wrapped around a cylinder. It's used to hold things together or lift objects. For instance, think of a jar lid. Twisting it open uses the spiral threads of a screw. Light bulbs fit into their sockets using screws. At construction sites, screws hold wooden and metal parts tightly together. Isn't it amazing how something so small can do so much? 6. Wedges. A wedge is made of two inclined planes joined together. It's used to split, cut, or pierce objects. Imagine using a knife to cut a watermelon. The sharp edge of the knife acts as a wedge to split the fruit. Axes used to chop wood or nails driven into walls also work as wedges. Even your teeth act as wedges when you bite into a crunchy apple. Fun facts about simple machines. Did you know ancient Egyptians used inclined planes to build the pyramids? Without wheels and axles, we wouldn't have bicycles or carts. A zipper on your jacket works like a wedge, pulling the sides together. Simple machines are everywhere around us. When you open a door with a handle, ride a bicycle, or even sharpen your pencil, you're using simple machines. They make everyday tasks easier, faster, and more fun, so, what did we learn today? Simple machines include levers, inclined planes, pulleys, wheel and axle systems, screws, and wedges. These tools help reduce effort and make work easier. From playgrounds and kitchens to construction sites, they're all around us. Now it's your turn to explore. Look around your home or school and find examples of simple machines. Identify their types and think about how they make your tasks easier. Remember, science is everywhere, you just have to look. Thank you for joining us today. This brings us to the end of this video. For more insights and educational content like this, don't forget to hit the like button, subscribe to our channel, and visit our website at exactcampus.com. See you in the next video. Until then, stay safe, keep learning and exploring. Take care.